Wolfgarten has just turned 100 years old. They're a familiar name in the green industry, sold in garden centres across the world, owned and loved by professionals and hobbyists alike. When I first started my business, I remember I would do a job and then I would go and get another tool to add to my collection. I'm going to be going through every single one of my Wolfgarten attachments that has the multi-click system, like this one here. Uh, we're going to be rating every single one of them, the weeding tools, the tree tools, uh, for soil cultivation, we're going to go through the entire lot, giving my opinion, goods, bads and uglies. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you the two things that I picked up for free out of the skip. Yes, Wolfgang brought us in a skip, it does happen. And the two that I broke this year. So, stick around. This is called a soil cultivator, so it's got a hoe on the back side and these little prongs that grip into the soil. These are quite popular, I see a lot of YouTube uh, people on YouTube using these because it, it really does just turn, just draw the soil out. Um, I don't use it as much as I probably used to, and I think that's probably because all of the elements of it we have in other things, and, um, but actually it does do, but it works, and you can, you can hook that bit up and there's no roots in the ground. It does work really, really well. Um, I give it a seven. The soil miller, it's a terrifying looking machine. Um, really good. It's. I think this is best placed on in a garden bed that's pretty empty because you can really get some quick momentum. Obviously, this part here is a hoe. And obviously, that's for turning turning the soil over. And when working in unison, it's a beast, and it's really really quick. I don't think there's a tool on the market that's like a tough fall tool that can turn a garden bed and rotate it just like this one. I think for that reason, but because it's not, you can't use it in every situation. Because again, if it's if you're trying to go deep and it's like we've got lots of roots or you know the ivy in the garden beds or something, some kind of thing that's stopping it, it does struggle. Um, but I would recommend it, if, especially if you're doing I mean, for an allotment or something like that. It's absolutely mint, and for really kind of open garden beds with lots of shrubbery, yeah, you can't go wrong. I guess seven out of ten. Just because of it, just because of how much you can use it. So we've got the toothbrush, which is used for like patios and like scraping the surface weeds off stuff. Um, I don't find it that strong actually, to be honest. I've had to replace the heads a couple of times, and I'm not using that much because there's better ways of removing weeds from patios. But it does the job. It's all right. I like the fact that you can get the interchangeable heads, and they're not too expensive. You get like two in a pack for like eight quid. They're not too bad. Seven out of ten. The Dutch hoe, we use this all the time. It's strong, never bends. What more could you possibly want? Nine out of ten. The so, it's got a sharp blade at the back, at the front, and a sharp blade at the back. Use it mainly for weaving in and out of uh, when you've got plants or anything in the garden bed. Just weed in and out. Good tool, don't use it all of the time, it's only when it's for like a really compacted garden bed. 8 out of 10. Not sure the name of it, but basically it's a lawn weeder. A recent addition to purchase, to the collection. Seven out of ten, could be slightly stronger. Another kind of dandelion weeder. You basically put it into the ground and then twist, and then it comes out at the top. Um, not ideal because by the time you've twisted it around, it kind of gets a little stuck sometimes, and these blades tend to kind of try and rip some of the soil up at the same time. So they'll find it overly useful sometimes. That that much. Five out of ten. Push pull weeder. If you're on any sort of commercial site or anything that's like where well, you don't need that much detail in the garden bed, absolutely great because you, you get the momentum for the weeds on the way forward and on the way back. I do find it pretty useful. Um, again, it's not really the most detailed of tools for weeding the garden beds, so I'd say 7 out of 10. The trowel. Standard. Trowel, really, there's nothing 
massively to talk about. The only slight disappointing thing with this one is that when you connect it up to a handle, and I know they do a shorter handle, your hand is a very, very long way away from the trowel. On normal on a trowel, you'd be there. So you'd kind of be able to feel, you know, a lot more of the leverage of the soil, whereas you kind of here, you feel like you're using a miniature spade. So I don't find it that great, really, to be honest. Um, Four at ten. Book scraper thing. This is phenomenal. This is absolutely amazing. They probably couldn't have done a better job on this. It's strong. It looks almost as good as the day we bought it. Ten out of ten. I couldn't I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, this little fella. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Bends at the first sign of anything. Just. Not a good tool, to be honest. I'm not impressed. <sighs> Two out of ten. I'd ne never recommend anyone to buy it. It's shocking. It's called a mini crumbler. Um, it came in a pack with like these handles. It's pretty good actually, to be honest. I quite like it. Um, the, we use these mainly to get ground coverage off of gravel. So if you've got like something that's like a really surface layer. It's really good for not disturbing the gravel and not getting down and far enough for the lining, but it will still take the stuff up. So, yeah, I quite like it, but it's not like, it's fairly niche. Um, 7 out of 10, works fine. Power cutter, power saw? I'm pretty sure that's what it said on it before. I've used it with on several trees. It's pretty good, this, to be fair, I must admit. I see a lot of people going on about silky and how good they are. And I probably will invest in a silky one next time, but obviously you can put it on the end of the end of the um, attachment, so you can stick it for form it in the air, and it does really really well. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. To be fair, I'll give it a good eight out of ten. A branch hook, a random tool. I used it once because we were gonna there was a tree branch lying way over our neighbours, and I thought if I pull it and cut it, I should be able to get it back in again. I literally bought it for that job. Anyway, when I got there, the tree was cut down, so I didn't even need to use it. I've used it two or three times. I used it this Christmas, actually, for an old people's home that we do. Um, uh, it's like a commercial site that we do. I used it to pull that Christmas tree around, uh, Christmas lights around the trees. So it was pretty good for that, to be fair. But it is just essentially a hook, so yeah, six out of ten. Just a hook. Anvil tree loppers. So obviously these fit onto the end of the poles and the, end, and the extendable poles. I've used this numerous times and it's absolutely mint for when you're doing hedges right at the top. You're right on the top of your average ladders and you just can't get out like one stupid bit of privy that's like flapping in the wind and it's you just, just can't get to it. You stick this up there and you it's just yeah, it saved me loads of times, just that fine detail right at the top. I think it's mint. Use it all the time. Um, Sadly, it's starting to go. The cable's starting to jump a little bit on this side, um, which is a bit of a shame because it is quite pricey, um, especially when you put it with the pole. I'll give it seven. It's saved me quite a few times, but I'm going to give it a seven. Okay, so I've got a couple of brooms here. Um, I'm using quite a lot of brush heads. Uh, these are really good if you've got if you're doing like clean up and you need to do like around the corner of a patio or something if you've got like I don't know if your blow is blowing it all into the corner you just need to hook it out a little bit because it's angled. But I actually think that detail makes this a really really good product. Uh, I'd give that an 8. I like that one. Um, this brush it's fine it could be a bit longer I'll probably be I think they do a longer one but I think it's designed for it's not like a yard brush I think that's probably what I want it to be and it's not really it's a bit short, I'm going to give it a 5. No, I'm not. I'm going to give it a 4, and I'll tell you why later. The leaf rake. Use this all the time. Really good because the plastic just kind of goes to the contours of the of the floor, so it really does catch on the smallest bits of debris. Um, Side down side, it's a bit small. Let's push it a bit bigger. Maybe half size again. They do a 4 in 1 leaf rake, which is huge, and it breaks off into like leaf grabs and stuff. But I've seen some terrible reviews on that, so I've never invested in this. So this is mint, and it'd be 10 out of 10 if it was bigger. But it's not as big as some. 
soil rake, slightly bigger than the normal one. Just doesn't quite cut it this one, to be honest. I find it puts loads of pressure on the join where the button is. So when you're pulling, it just gives it that little bit of extra flex. Now obviously it's trying to do a really hard job of moving, of moving soil around. And if you've got clay, like it's like lots of clay, it's going to struggle. But it just didn't quite cut it. So I'm going to give it a four. So I wasn't really that impressed with it. it didn't, I kind of felt like the, the handle was going to shoot back at me. And I don't really feel like that with a lot of the tools. But I know it's going under a lot more pressure than other things. But yeah, it wasn't probably key. The fan rack. Now it's not your eyes. It is that bent. And it is that broken. I do use it a lot though. But for durability, not great. To be honest, could have done with it been <clears throat> a bit stronger. Lasted a little bit longer. I'm going to give it a five because it, I have put it through its paces, to be fair to it. And probably done a bit more than what it was maybe designed for. Maybe. Is that fair? Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Not overly impressed because this is expensive. This is like a 25 quid on offer. It's not cheap. I kind of expect to get more than 18 months out of it, which is what we've got. But. Um, I did this, literally, with my giant handle, probably why I'm bitter about it, I put it into the soil, and it came out, and it just bent, and I was like, what? Literally just came out like that, absolutely ridiculous, that's a fairly recent, it wasn't even that, like, it wasn't like the middle of August where it was like dry, it wasn't like, the soil was pretty wet, it wasn't even rooty or anything, so no excuse for that, the weld just completely. Completely disappeared. Stay at that. It's not an angled brush, that's the same brush as this brush. Same brush. But yeah, just sat in half. I didn't even do anything. Like literally, I put it into the van. Yeah. There we go. So. In the skip, in the bin, ready to go to the big garbage truck in the sky. It was a rake. These aren't cheap, they are not cheap products. And a wooden Wolfgarten attachment. For free. How amazing is that? Thanks for watching guys, really really appreciate it. Got loads of videos coming up very very soon and if you think there's a chance that you might enjoy watching one of them, please hit that subscribe button, I know I appreciate it. Thanks a bunch, see you soon.